For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker. I think you'll agree that a real Penn Stater who is a graduate has a special place in his or her heart for Old State. They'll always have fond memories of the campus and traditions that make Penn State a special place. But for some alumni, waning memories aren't enough. Meet George and Sue Henning, Penn Staters through and through. Over the past few years, they've turned a simple hobby into a passion. While going to antique shops, collectible stores, and on eBay auctions, they have amassed a blue and white collection that is second to none. Fortunately, the house is large enough that we could do that. And we, we first had a Penn State room when we lived in Cleveland, back in Brecksville, back in the early 80s, I Down think. Down in the basement. It was the first mm -hmm. time that I I had enough things that I started, I didn't, I couldn't keep it in a box anymore and started hanging it up on walls and that sort of thing. The Hennings are retired and living in State College, which allows them time to find those hidden treasures on eBay. But much of their collection was obtained while George was still working with little time to surf the net. It was Sue who did much of the work to secure some of the items. I did most of the bidding. He didn't have time to go on eBay, so I would get up and go into eBay and bid on things for him. And I would say, oh, we got this, or I bid on this, or... And sometimes if it was still going on over the weekend, he might up the bid or something like that. With their entire basement devoted to so many different Penn State items, George does have certain items that are special to him. Some of my older artifacts are things from the original old main building, which was torn down in 1929. One of them is this newel post or stairwell post uh, that was used in the stairwell, along with I have several of the banister railings also. I can identify these from a picture I have from a scrapbook showing the stairwell pointing, looking down the stairwell, and in it you can see the stairwell posts and, and the newel post, which uh, uh, are the same as the ones that are here. I have uh, an atlas from 1876, and it's an atlas of Center County, and uh, each of the pages is devoted to either one of the towns or uh, one of the townships in, in the county, and shows detail about it. Uh, it has a small section titled Agricultural College, uh, referring to Penn State before it became even Penn State College, which was in 1876. So, uh, and it shows a picture of the buildings that were there and a few houses along College Avenue, and they're labeled by which professor lives in that house. I have a, a bass drum uh, from the Air Force ROTC band in the 1950s, back when ROTC was compulsory. Uh, each of the services had their own band, and all the students marched on Thursday afternoons. Now, this football came up at an auction uh, back in the 1970s, Rip Angle contributed to an auction to raise money for the second mile. At the time, I knew it was an old football, it was from 59, uh, and I, I, I wanted it regardless. It's signed by all the players and has the records of each game of the year on it. That was the year they went to the Liberty Bowl also, the first Liberty Bowl in Philadelphia at the time. But, uh, so I got it, and then after I brought it home and looked at it, I realized that that was the first game of that year, which would have been my freshman year, and I knew I went to all the games my freshman year. And then when I looked up the date, here the date was September 26th, and that was my birthday. So it's a, that's a really spe special item that I have. To see the Henning Collection will bring about a sense of awe, but still begs the question, why? It's the spirit of, of the school. Uh, it's really neat to collect the things that show the spirit through the years. Maybe that's why I like the history. I have Froth Magazines, which was a humor magazine that was here on the campus from the early teens up until about 61 or 62. And then it, it has resurrected itself also, and there still is a Froth Magazine. Back in the, in the uh, uh, before 1960, out on the football field, along with the lion running around, there would be Frothy, who was a jester and the symbol of Froth Magazine. And the two of them would run around the field and, and cheer for the team and do skits together. So all of that sort of spirit and memories from when I was here, all of that comes together in this room. For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker.